Marrying with Children is not only one of the most iconic sitcoms of the 80s and 90s, but also marked a change in the traditional family comedy genre. With humorous and somewhat satirical situations about the life of the Bundy family, the series attracted millions of viewers around the world, turning characters such as Al Bundy, Peggy Bundy, Kelly Bundy, and Bud Bundy into unforgettable symbols. Behind the funny moments on screen, how have the cast changed after more than 20 years since the series ended? How is their life and career now? Join us in looking back at this star's journey, from the peak of marrying with children to the present, where the glory may have faded, but their memories will live on in the hearts of fans. Katie Sagal plays Peggy Bundy, a wife who always wants more from life and husband. Peggy stands out for a lazy personality, likes to spend money, and never cooks or does housework. However, she still has a special charm and knows how to make family life more interesting. In 1987 when filming, she was 33. Now she's 70 and still continues her acting career. After a traffic accident in 2021, she recovered and returned to a role in the series The Connors. She's also a talented singer and often participates in music projects. Ted McGinley played Jefferson Darcy, Marcy's second husband and a gold digger. Jefferson is a humorous character, always trying to take advantage of Marcy to have a comfortable life without having to work. In 1989 when he started filming, Ted McGinley was 31. Now he's 66 and still continues his acting career. He's acted in various films and TV shows, including voice roles. He lives with his wife, actress Gig Rice, and has two sons in Los Angeles. He also participates in charity activities and community events. Harold Sylvester Blake Griff, Al Bundy's co-worker and close friend at the shoe store. Griff is a middle-aged man, divorced and always trying to stay away from trouble in life. He brings a lot of laughter and humorous situations with sarcastic sayings. In 1994 when filming, he was 45. Now he's 75 years old and continues his acting career. He lives with his wife Kathleen and they have two children. He's also a screenwriter and producer, having written the script for TV series Passing Glory. He was the first person to receive an athletic scholarship from Tulane University, and he was always proud of this accomplishment. Christina Applegate played Kelly Bundy, the eldest daughter of the Bundy family. Kelly is a beautiful but not very smart girl who often gets into trouble and causes funny situations. However, she is always loved and protected by her family. In 1987 when filming, Christina Applegate was 16. Now at 52, she is dealing with multiple sclerosis, which she was diagnosed in 2021. She opened up about life with the disease, sharing that she feels alive in hell and has to use a stick to move. However, she still maintains optimistic and continues to participate in art projects when possible. She is also a devoted mother and always makes time for her daughter. Ed O'Neill play Al Bundy, a typical middle-class man with an uninspiring job selling shoes. Al is a conflicted husband and a father who feels his life is trapped in failure and dissatisfaction. However, behind his gruff and complaining exterior, he still had love and care for his family. In 1987 when filming, Ed O'Neill was 41. Now he's 78 and continues his acting career. He just completed his role in the series The Strolling Affairs and still maintains good health, regularly participating in events and charity activities. Tom McClister play Ike, one of Al Bundy's close friends and a member of the No Ma'am Club. Ike is a funny man, always ready to join in on Al's jokes and plans. In 1994 when filming, Tom McClister was 45. Now he's 75 and has retired after a rich acting career. Tom McClister was born in New York and has starred in various movies and TV shows, including a role in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He lives a rather private life and not much is known about his private life. He has never been married and has no children. He now lives in California and participates in charity and community activities. David Faustino played Bud Bundy, the only son of the Bundy family. Bud is a smart boy but is often ridiculed for not having a girlfriend and always trying to attract female attention. In 1987 when filming, David Faustino was 13. Now he's 50 years old and continues his acting career, mainly voicing animated films and participating in TV projects. He is also a father and often shares happy moments with his daughter. He still maintains a good relationship with his former colleagues from Married with Children and is always ready to support them when needed. Amanda Beers play Marcy Darcy, the intelligent and assertive neighbor of the Bundy family. Marcy is a strong woman who always fights for her rights and is not afraid to confront Al. She is a character that brings a lot of laughter and is an interesting contrast to the Bundy family. In 1987 when filming, Amanda Beers was 29. Now she's 66 and lives with her wife Carrie Schenken in Atlanta, Georgia. She has turned to directing and still maintains a good relationship with her former colleagues from Mary with Children. Steve Saskine played Barney, one of Al Bundy's friends and a member of the No Ma'am group. 
Bonnie is a funny man, always ready to join in on our jokes and plans. In 1987, when filming, Steve Saskine was 45. Sadly, he passed away on January 21st, 2005 at 62 due to a car accident. He is a talented actor and singer who has appeared in many famous movies and TV shows such as Sunfeld, Frasier, and Scrubs. He was also an excellent voice artist, lending his voice to many animated films such as Monsters, Incorporated, and The Emperor's New Groove. He lives a rather private life and not much is known about his private life. He was never married and had no children. Dan Tullis Jr. played Officer Dan, a police officer and friend of Al Bundy. Officer Dan is a serious man and dedicated to his job, but also has humorous moments when interacting with Al and the Bundy family. In 1989, when he started filming, Dan Tullis Jr. was 38. Now he's 73 and still continues his acting career. He has acted in various films and TV shows, including voice roles. He lives with his family in California and has two children, both of whom are teachers. He is also a spokesperson for the insurance company Select Quote and often appears in TV and radio commercials. Hugh Harper play Aaron, a supporting character in the series. Aaron is a smart man and always ready to help his friends. In 1993 when filming, Hugh Harper was 27 years old. Now he's 58 and still continues his acting career. He was born in Iowa City and has starred in many popular movies and TV shows such as CSI New York and The Good Doctor. He's also an author and politician who was a candidate in the 2024 United States Senate selection. He's a single father who adopted a son named Pierce in 2015. He lives with a son in Los Angeles and often participates in charity and community events. David Garrison plays Steve Rose, Al Bundy's neighbor and close friend. Steve is an intelligent and educated man but often gets caught up in funny situations caused by Al. In 1987 when filming, David Garrison was 35. Now he's 72 and mainly works in theater. He has participated in many famous plays on Broadway and other major theaters. He also often appears in TV shows as a guest. He lives with his family in New York and maintains his passion for the performing arts. Sheen Sweet plays Seven, a boy adopted by the Bundy family. Seven is an intelligent and mischievous boy who often causes funny situations. In 1992 when filming, he was only six years old. Now he's 38 and continues his acting career, mainly voicing animated films and participating in TV projects. He was born in Burbank, California and has acted in various films and TV shows. He is a member of the bands Atlanta and the Celestial Martini. He lives a rather private life and not much is known about his personal life. He has never been married and has no children. E.E. E. Bell played Bob Rooney, one of Al Bundy's friends and a member of the No Ma'am Club. Bob Rooney was a funny man, always ready to join in on Al's jokes and plans. In 1993 when filming, E.E. E. Bell was 38. Now he's 68 and continues his acting career. He's appeared in various films and TV shows, including voice roles. He lives in Los Angeles and often participates in charity activities. He is also a member of the Irish band called the Woolians and often performs in Long Beach, California. J.J. Johnston played B.B., a supporting character in the series. B.B. is a middle-aged man who often appears in humorous situations and brings a lot of laughter to the audience. In 1987, when he started acting, J.J. Johnston was 54. He passed away on November 4, 2022, at 89. J.J. Johnston, real name James William Johnston, was born in Chicago, Illinois. Before entering his acting career, he was an amateur boxer and a boxing historian. He wrote many books on boxing history, including Babyface and Pop and Chicago Boxing. He also served 18 months in prison for drug-related crimes before turning to acting. Janet Carroll played Gary, Albany's boss at the shoe store. Gary is a strong, decisive woman who knows how to run her business effectively. In 1994 when filming, Janet Carroll was 54. Sadly, she passed away on May 22, 2012 at 71 from brain cancer. She was born in Chicago and had a rich acting career, including a role in Risky Business with Tom Cruise. She was a talented singer and often performed at jazz festivals across the US and Canada. She had two children and lived in New York until her death. Kathleen Freeman played Peg's mom, Peggy Bundy's mother. Peg's mom is a strong and decisive woman who knows how to run her business effectively. In 1995 when filming, Kathleen Freeman was 72. Sadly, she passed away on August 23, 2001 at 78 from lung cancer. Kathleen Freeman was born in Chicago and had a rich acting career, including roles in the Blues Brothers and Jerry Lewis comedies. She was a talented actress and was always loved by the audience. She lived a rather private life and not much is known about her personal life. She had never been married and had no children. 
Rich Shatner played Luke Ventura, Albany's co-worker and friend at the shoe store. Luke is a funny man and always finds a way to tease Al. In 1987, when he started acting, Rich Schneider was 35. Now he's 71 and continues his acting career. He was born in Pennsville, New Jersey, and has acted in various films and TV shows. He's also a writer and producer. Having written scripts for many famous comedy shows, he lives with his wife Kate Scheffler and three children in Los Angeles. He often participates in comedy performances and charity activities. Who is your favorite character in Married with Children? And what do you think when some actor is passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.